load of pretentious wankers have moved into the basement. There's my tart of a daughter going off for a dirty weekend. Look at her, shameless honey. Sam's up to her usual pranks. Brilliant. <laughs> That bare tempered girl Sophie's getting ready for a dinner party tomorrow night. We had a great party, although the young people of today don't know how to enjoy themselves like me. And then that old bag has to come and spoil it, doesn't she, by stealing our fuse box? Mind you, Woody nearly got a girlfriend because of it. Uh, she left him, though. I tried to comfort him. Ah. Oh. gone too far this time, Woody. I mean, for fuck's sake. You really are a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done, man? That's it. I'm never coming out of my bedroom again. I'm just going to stay there for the rest of my life. I forgot for one fantastic moment that you lived here. Oh, you're just bitter, because you're fat and ugly. What was that? I just said uh, th th this program was funny, and that's all. Well, how can you sit there laughing when I'm having a bad time? Ooh. Jonathan just makes me sick. Well, don't live together then if you're so unhappy. We're not unhappy. <laughs> having a few rows doesn't mean that we're not happy. Oh, God, you're so naive. <laughs> Have you ever had a long-term relationship? No. Well, then, all couples argue. God, it's a lot healthier than going around pretending we're getting on. I mean, you know... <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, love, but, you know, work's work. I'm an entrepreneur, me, so I've got to go when called. At least we had one night together. Here, girl. Here. Oi, girl. That'll learn you to go out with a big shot. God, you're only a winter cleaner. Come on, cheer up. Right, what's got two thumbs, speaks French and likes blowjobs? I don't know. Moi. <laughs> you get it, eh? You get it? I've got another one. Do you know the difference between a cucumber and a penis? No. Do you want to come on a picnic? <laughs> Why can't I just meet someone I like? I mean, what did I do like to deserve this? Blossom is sick. How can she say that we don't get on? It's her. She's making it so tense here. I mean, how's it going to look when these people come round tonight? She better bloody well be out. Oh, calm down. She's all right. Jonathan! Jonathan! Shall I make you a nice cup of tea? <laughs> I'm your first, your last. Wait till I get home. I just want a bit of peace and quiet. Yeah, you know, I mean, she was all right, his grand. I don't know why he wanted to go and do something like that. Yeah. Jonathan, mm. what about the dinner tonight? Are you enjoying my paper? Oh, yeah, lovely. Thanks. I'll just get your tea. Nearly forgot. <laughs> hmm. I can't believe this. We've got people coming round in a few hours and you haven't even been shopping. It's fine. We could even get a takeaway. I'm Don't be so stupid. I suppose I'll just have to go and get it myself. I'll go shopping later. Why can't you go now? Because it's Saturday lunchtime and I want to relax for a bit. Don't you think I do? I can't relax unless we've organised it all. <laughs> Hiya! Oh, hiya! Mm. Hey, you're there for me! Oh, I bought them to break up the flat for your mum. I'm quite excited about meeting her. I, I thought you were going out. I mean, I, I thought you had to work. Well, I got out of it. Thanks. 
I thought you'd be pleased. You really are embarrassed about me, aren't you? No, I'm not, honestly. She's just such hard work. It'll be awful and I can't bear you to meet her, that's all. Oh, come on. Larry! You do not understand. She is completely mad. She is an alcoholic. She is mentally unstable and she is violent. I never know what she's going to do next. All right, all right. I'm sorry. You should have said earlier, you know. I was really starting to think you were ashamed of me. Don't look too upset, doll. Eh? Eh? Hey, you're good in bed. You don't move around too much. Thanks, mate. It was certainly unforgettable. Oh, yes. Oh, good girl. Good girl, yes. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. See ya! Hey, found me. Hey, he's got to be joking. Maybe I'll put an aid in a mag. Oh, God. Have I really got that desperate? All right. How you did, Lynn? Fine. Just a bit stressed. Oh, well, that's life, in it, love? Yeah, well, not mine. Right! Oh! That girl's awful. I'd never take my temper out on no one like that. Oh, what a relief. What the bloody hell is going on? Who the hell are all these people? Oh Say, God. where's Woody? <laughs> Bloody well kill him. <laughs> Betty, what the bleeding hell are you doing? Right, that's it. Come on out, you. That's the last time you're coming round to this house. Oh, no. What the hell are you doing? Hello. <laughs> you should know better at your rate. Right, get out, you lot. Go on, out now. Woody! <laughs> Woody! Woody! <laughs> I'll just get some biscuits. <laughs> Robbie does exaggerate. She doesn't seem violent or anything. So, how are you? As well as can be expected. Robbie, do you sleep in here then? Because there only seems to be one bedroom. Uh, oh, yeah, it pulls out as a sofa bed, and uh, Larry doesn't <gasps> mind sharing with me. For tonight, though. All right. Everybody happy? <laughs> Very nice of you, Larry. Letting Robbie share your bed. Uh, yes. Yes. Well, of course. I just thought you'd like a bit of privacy. Two grown men. Well, I do. But I'm not that selfish. Robbie, what have you been saying? Oh, there's the door. Do you want to get in? Oh... Well, he seems nice enough, but surely you'd rather be sharing with someone your own age. Oh, no, no, he's great. He lectures in uh, art history. He's dead brain. Or even somewhere where you'd have your own bedroom. Why don't you share with Mrs. Jules, boy? Oh. He's nice. No. He has a very good job in the city and a nice big flat in the Docklands. Well, it's cheap and it's fine for the moment, you know. It's flossy. Oh. Oh, is this your mum, Robbie? Yeah. <laughs> ah, he's told me so much about you. Well, I hope it's all good. Oh, yeah. Robbie's just gorgeous about everyone. He's only invited Flossie up because he was frightened I bore the pants off her. How can he think that stupid fag hag is more presentable than me? Eh? Maybe she'll think she's my girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> she lives with Flossie. I'd better be really nice to her. <laughs> I used to like the fact that Jonathan was laid back, but he's so bloody laid back he's almost dead. Cheer up, love. It might never happen. Well, it already has. Oh. God, I hate people that say that. I wish I'd told him I was dying of cancer or that my mother's in a mental hospital after knifing the rest of the family. How long are you staying? Only for two nights. I have a meeting with the Christian Fellowship tomorrow. I'm the church secretary. Yeah, yeah. It's great, isn't it? Mm, thank you, Robbie. He's not normally that interested. He's obviously just using me. I feel a fool. He's been straight all along. Oh, it's a shame you're not staying longer. We've only just got to know you. Mm, nice girl. Shame she looks like a cheap <laughs> <laughs> 
pitiful. You reject me, I'll reject you. Two can play that game, Sonny Jim. So where do you live then? Oh, only downstairs. That's a bit near. I mean, it's almost like you're living together. Uh, no, we live in separate flats. What do you mean? It doesn't matter anyway. Maybe not to you, young lady, but I believe in the vows of marriage. Oh, so do I. <laughs> I'm not going out with him. What's so funny about that? <laughs> well, he's so camp. Sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. Flossie, maybe you better go. What did I say? All I said was that you were camp. Well, anyone can see that. I mean, he's gay. He's sitting here with his boyfriend. I think it's really exciting. I love boyfriend. Oh, no. I forgot. How dare you. My son is not any one of those things. Robbie, you'd better have a good explanation. Yes, you better have.